Hello guys, in this video we try to see what is a candlestick and how it changes colors depending on the price if it's going up or going down. Okay, now we have what you call candlestick. Candlestick is just a form like this, for example, rectangular form. This is a candlestick. It looks like a candle. That's why they say they uh, they say candle, candlestick. It could have a tail or a wick. A wick. How we say tail? The same. So we have one here on the on the top, one here on the uh, on the bottom, and this here in the middle is called the body. Okay, the body. Now, now what does this candlestick represent? In swing trading, since we are doing or we are doing uh, swing trading. Okay. Since we are doing swing trading, this candlestick represents one day. That's why we say, if you have the chart, you should uh, try to put daily. It means that you should see candlesticks. Each candlestick like this, you see, forms or represents a day. The day is from 9.30 a.m. Okay? To 4 p.m. This is what we call the trading day. This is where, uh, where the market is so active. Okay? So, why do we have these tails? And, when we, and why we have this, uh, this body here? Between the open, when the market opens, and when the market closes, this, it should be filled, okay? And this is what we call the high. Let's, uh, let's take those right now. Okay. Let's say we are today and we begin the market. Let's say the open is here. Now, what do we mean by open? We mean by the open, it means at 9.30, what is the price that the stock opens with? Okay, this is the open. Let's say the open at 9.30 is what? Let's say it is ten dollars sharp okay it's ten dollars now this is the line here is the open this is the first line what did happen after a few minutes or half an hour what did happen the stock price goes down okay it goes down to, let's say, $9.50. Okay? It's going down. And then, after half an hour or 50 minutes or 20 minutes, it depends. The stock stops at 9.30, uh, at 9.50, and goes up to the same price ten dollars and then it continues going up going up going up let's say until 3 30 p.m. this is the high okay 
and the price let's say it is twelve dollars so we have here the open at ten dollars here 950 is the low of the day now we say the low because the stock opens at 10 it goes at 950 but it, it didn't end at 4 o'clock at 950 no there is a reverse and the stock goes up again until 3.30 p.m. it reaches a high and it stops this is $12. This is just an example, okay? Now from $12, from 3.30 p.m., it was 12, it goes down again, and it stops here. It stops at 4 p.m. This is the end of the, this is the end of the day, and the stock is 11.50 okay so this is a typical day in the stock market but the stock market or all the stocks they don't have the same candlestick now the candle this candlestick is just I show you one which is a general candlestick there are hundreds of forms how these candlesticks will be formed. Now, what makes this candlesticks different is the what we call the trader, the trader's activity. Okay, so it's the trader's activity. Now. If you ask and you say to me, for example, what's this trader's activity? Okay. The stock price opens at 10 o'clock. Some people either they are selling or there is someone or there are many people who, who are selling short. So I just try to take this in order to explain what did happen. At least you get an idea. Okay. So, when it opens, there is, it could be two actions. Okay. When it's going down, there is one which is selling off, and the second action is selling short. I will explain what's the difference. Okay, selling off, it means that some people are selling their shares. It could be mutual fund, it could be uh, uh, normal people, whatever. Okay, they are just selling their sh shares. So this action, the stock goes from uh, 10, as I told you, to 9.50. This is the action. Some people are selling short, it means they are borrowing uh, uh, shares from the from the broker and they are selling them in order to buy them later when the stock is going down going down going down and then they can make profit when they buy uh, buy them back this is called selling short okay now people are selling short but there are other people a lot of people or someone who is big, like mutual fund or hedge fund or whatever, or pension plan or uh, bank or uh, insurance, they are interested to buy more. So when it goes to 950, the stock will be going up until it reaches 12 o'clock, 12 dollars. So from 950 to 12 dollars. It means that the buyers are more than the sellers. So this is the action, just to understand. So buyers are more than sellers. Okay.
So we have more buyers than sellers. And this, this action is based on supply and demand. Okay? When there is a demand, it means a lot of people want to buy. This is called demand. It means more people want more shares. Okay? So since they, the demand is big, they see, you see a lot of orders coming to the stock market or to the exchange for this stock. Okay? A lot of orders and you see that the stock is going up and this is where the day traders when they see that the stock is going up from 9 9 uh, 50 to 10 it's it's going up it's going up so they jump and they begin to buy also in order to sell at the end of the day okay now when it reach $12 when the stock goes down Okay, what, what, what did happen? Some people who bought in this area here who are day traders, mostly day traders. So what they do, since they buy from the bottom, at the end of the day, it goes to $12, so they begin to sell. Because it is 3.30 and you know, uh, we don't have that much time to 4 o'clock, so they begin to sell before the, before the market close. Because this is what they do. They work in the day. That's why they are called day traders. They don't want to hold a stock for tomorrow, which are swing traders. Okay? So, these day traders, they buy here, since there are more buyers, but they will sell here, sell, selling, until 4 o'clock, until 4 p.m. And let's say the stock is 11.50. And this is the close of the day. So, in order to, uh, to make it easier for you, I will do it again. And uh, to show you the day, okay. So here is the open. Here is the low. Here is the close, and here is the high. And these are the most. These are the most important information that you need. At least you, you know what did happen into the market, okay? So it is a good, it is a good day. Since it begins with $10, it goes down to $9.50, and then it goes up to 12 and then it closes at 11 50 okay? So this is a typical day, and we as a swing traders, we should see the day and what did happen. And many candlesticks like this, many candlesticks, and we can see where the direction of the stock is going. Is it going up, uptrend, or is it going downtrend? Okay? So, we finish the day. Um, for, in terms of colors, well, uh, people, they use colors. For example, for me, uh, I like when it is a good day, it means the price is going up. I prefer the green. Okay? I prefer the green color. And let's say the stock is going down. I prefer the red. It's just, it's just preference. Okay. Let's see. This is the first day. First day. Let's say, for example, what did happen to the second day? Tomorrow, let's say this is yesterday, this is today. What did happen in the second day? Let's say... <coughs> let's 
the stock opens at 11.50. Let's say it's the same thing. 11.50, this is where it's, it, uh, it opens. Now, it goes higher to 12, 30. This is an example, okay? And then it goes down. Okay? It goes down to 9.50 and it closes at $10. Now, if I ask you the question, the green, it means the stock has been going up. Now, what about the, what about the red? The red, it means this color here, this color, you should always see the close first. What is the price of the close? It's 11.50. Okay, 11.50 is the close. It opens at 11.50, so in general, the beginning should be green. And when it goes up, it goes green. Here, you should see green at the beginning of the day. Okay? But the problem is that it goes up in the morning, which is very good, which is green like this, because the stock begins with 11.50, the same, it goes up. But later in the day, like 10 o'clock, uh, 11, 12, 30, okay? The stock has been going down. Here it was going up, so it's green. It has been going down until it reaches the low of 9.50. So what do you think the, uh, what do you think the color should be? It should be red. Although, although you see the same, the same height, let's say it is here, it is 12, so just to make sure you understand. Okay, it's the same. Although you see the same, the same numbers, but this is a green and this is red. Now, how this is red is just because the close is 1150 and the close here the market closed at 10, close. So, it closed lower than 11.50. That's why this is red. But in the morning, try to remember, the morning was green. If you, if you open your uh, chart at 9.30, 9.35, 9.40, you see that the stock is going up. So, this should be, be green if it continues the same as the, as the end of the day. But unfortunately, the stock reaches 12 and then go down until 9.50. So when it just go one cent, it becomes red. For example, if it goes here under this, uh, since 9.50, let's say it's 11.49, even if it is one cent, it becomes red, okay? When it goes down, it becomes red. It goes up again, and it ends with $10 as uh, a day which is red. It means the price is going down. And this is how we see the candlesticks, and this is how we understand. But understand that each uh, each person, you can change the colors. Some people, for example, they put, when it's green, they put white. And when it is red, going down, they put black. I don't know, it's just people, they use these colors. You can use any color that you like. If you have the chart that you can change going up or going down, you can change it from the chart. But for me and for, white, for white, oh, what I teach, it's just we keep the same thing, at least we will be on the same pace. It means that if I say the candlestick is green, it means the price has been going up from the previous day, from previous close. 
because always see the close and then see the see the price of today and this is how the people like swing traders see the chart as uh, candlesticks now let's uh, speak about something else when you see the candlesticks you will see like this for example I just give you an example you can see candlestick like this you can see like this you can see like this <coughs> you can see like this you can see like this okay these are just some examples of forms of candlestick okay this let's say either open and close there is no high there is no low the, the low the low is the open for example is the same as as the low the stock opens let's say it opens 9 50 it goes to 11 so 11 is the highest and it is the close and this is, is the low and the open now you find for example a stock uh, opens here let's say here it goes up for the whole day and then it goes down here and close here so these are just forms now some people they take conclusion from this and they give names like doji like the other stuff for me i am not with all this stuff and all these names i don't teach that because for me it doesn't it doesn't matter because how i teach for uh, searching for stocks i don't use th these kind of candlesticks okay i don't use this kind of candlesticks whatever is a candlestick is just one criteria okay if the candlestick is green I don't care how it looks like okay most of the time if the stock is going up from previous day it's okay so there are a lot of people when you go online they or even some books technical analysis and they begin to show you this and they say oh this if you see this oh just buy the next day the, the next day would be good but this is just predictions in stock market never predict okay if you predict anyone can predict okay and prediction is not based on something now for us when we want to buy a stock we buy on criteria we don't we don't buy because of the form of the candlestick is this or this or this or that this is like stupid thing and those people even in books you go you buy books for technical analysis you spend twenty dollars or forty dollars or one hundred dollars and then you find names and then they give you each one they give you a strategy okay sometimes it's like this it's like a cross but sometimes it's like this it's like a T you don't find it in their books so you don't know what to do so it's like <coughs> it's like for me I don't follow this kind of of education what we call education it's just a useless education useless education it means you you study all this and you study all the names they give you uh, they say a hammer I don't know it's, it's a lot of stuff that that it is hundreds these are just forms what the what the traders have done in the day it means nothing okay they open here at 950 they go to 11 it's a nice day so here it opens it goes down then it goes up to the to the top to the high then it goes down and the the open is like a close so the day is not a big deal so all this stuff all this stuff uh, try uh, not to worry about it 
don't try to educate yourself with this because you just lose your time and it is just a waste of time okay so for my criteria it's totally different from this for example a green candlestick it is whatever is is one of these is a green candlestick i don't care i don't i don't care how the how the form is okay but since this is the most important thing is it going up or going down this is what interests me going up i will just give you okay this is for example a successive candlesticks now what is the most important thing here in this in this in this chart when you see candlesticks going up these are going up it means we have more buyers each day each day the first day the second day third fourth it means there is a successive uh, candlesticks it means more buyers more buyers than sellers now if you have a day where it goes down like this good days trend is going up and then we have reverse and the stock might continue to go, go down so in the stock market the most important thing is the direction where are these candlesticks going are they going up or are they going down okay i will give you just an example and then we stop this candlestick thing okay so going up going up going up going up okay just an example and okay this is a success of um, candlesticks now what do you what do you remark on this on this chart when you look look at, uh, like this it means that there is a trend okay there is a trend and people who are in this trend they can make money because they begin with let's say 10 they go to 15 and then they get stop here 13 they go here to 17 they go to 15 here, like, like this, uh, let's say 14, and then here they get to 20. Now, for me as a trader, what is the most important thing is I see that it is 10, 15, 17, 20. I am seeing the trend. These are small corrections because the people, they are stupid, they sell, they don't want to wait uh, for, the big, uh, for the big money. And this is the difference between uh, people who are uh, what we call uh, professional traders and beginners. And I'm trying just to show you something from candlesticks. At least you get an idea how things work. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. See you next video.